We are gonna be setting up a new terrarium for this baby red tail boa. We have all the supplies that we need for setting this tank up. We got the mulch, we got the decorations. So without further ado, let's start setting this tank up. Here we go in three, two, and... What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are all having an amazing day so far. So guys, in today's video, we are gonna be heading down to my brother's house shortly because we are gonna be setting up a new terrarium for this baby red tail boa. Now this baby red tail boa is not such a baby anymore. Now guys, since we got him, he has grown so, so much. Now he's not too big, but he's definitely outgrown his terrarium that he is in now. So he needs an upgrade and we are gonna do it in style. We are gonna be heading to the pet store, getting a little cave for him to hide out and getting some decorations and decking this cage out. So guys, without further ado, I'm gonna head inside, change out of my PJs and we are just gonna hop straight into today's video. All right, guys, we just finished at the pet store, and I got a couple things for decorating this tank. So right here, I got a pretty big hut right here. You can see it's all natural bark right here. It is perfect for this tank. And in this bag right here, we got some fake plants right here to decorate this tank. We got something for my brother. We got my bird food. And we got a repti rock right here for filling the water. So, guys, now that we have all the supplies that we need for setting this tank up, we're going to head to the house and set the terrarium up. We made it to my brother's house, and of course, we already got big old Zeus greeting us. Hey, Bubba, what's up? You want to, you want to face scratches in a tubby rubs? Where's your, where's your girlfriend, Zena? So now that we just arrived, we got our supplies in our hands. We are heading to the baby shed. Now the baby shed is actually where we keep all the baby reptiles on the property. So guys, those are where the baby bows are. So I'll catch you all once we make it over there. Now guys, before we hop into today's video, I want to introduce you all the two newest members of the Fetter fam. I mean, they're absolutely gorgeous. What's up? So here we have two yellow naped Amazon parrots. And guys, this pair of parrots are crazy. They they say all types of things. They basically speak gibberish, but they are they are so gorgeous. Let's let's come around right here and say hi. Hi, beautiful baby. I mean, look at those eyes, guys. These guys have crazy colored eyes. Now, if you look at this little guy right here, his poor little beak is messed up. I think it was a birth defect. I'm sorry, little buddy, you got a you got a messed up beak, but you you are gorgeous. So we're just gonna go on ahead, and we have fresh papaya in our hand, and that is their favorite treat. I mean, you see this, guys? Oh my goodness, they're eyeing it. So we're gonna go on ahead, open this up, and you want some papaya? Oh, it's so tasty. You dropped it. You want some too? You want some too? You want some papaya? It's really good. Okay, it's all for your brother. Oh my goodness, he's just ripping in, tearing this papaya apart. You want some, buddy? No, you're not interested today? All right, while well, you munch on that little piece, I'm gonna put it right here for you guys, okay? It's right there, you see it? It's right there, okay? All right, so we have the tank right here, and this is a pretty big tank, and you can see that this tank is completely filthy. Now, this tank has been sitting outside for quite some time. You can see it has old mulch, it has leaves, it has a bunch of dirt. So, guys, we're going to need to completely clean this tank, and I'll be back with you once we do that. A few moments later. So, we have the tank nice and clean, guys. We got it ready to set it up. We got the mulch, we got the decorations. Now, guys, what we're going to do is we are going to put the mulch in first. So, without further ado, let's start setting this tank up. So first off, we're gonna undo this right here, and this opens these giant glass doors right here. I mean, look at this amazing tank. It has a backdrop right here that makes it look like natural rocks. So we're gonna start off, and we're gonna open this bag of mulch right here, and we're actually gonna pick it up by hand. So you can see it's nice and moist right here, and we're just gonna go ahead and start scooping this out. Now we're probably gonna have to do several handfuls to fill up this entire tank and to give the bottom a couple inches full of mulch. We're gonna start spreading it around. You can see that we're gonna need a lot, a lot more. And one last handful. And guys, we have completely filled the tank with the mulch. You can see we've given the bottom a couple inches full of the mulch and this tank is looking good. It is coming together exactly how we want it. So now it is time to start with the decoration. So right here we have our natural hut. So before we actually rinse this, and the reason we're gonna rinse it is because there might be chemicals from the store that could harm this red tail boa. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna place it where we want it, get an idea of how this tank is gonna look, and then we're gonna go to rinse these. 
store-bought items. And we're gonna go on ahead and open our fake plants up right here. And you can see the staple is caught right here. So we're just gonna carefully take this off so we don't rip our new plant. All right, so we're gonna pull our fake plant out right here, stretch it out, see what we're working with. And now guys, if you look right here, you can see that we have little suctions right here. And we actually only have one little suction. So I think a perfect place for this plant would be like right here to give this give this whole tank a more natural more wild look and then the last thing we have right here is our little water bowl now we're gonna add this little guy right here in the middle so now that we got our setup now we got an idea of where we want the plant where we want the hut and where we want the water bowl i'm gonna take everything out we're gonna rinse it and set this tank up so zeus has decided to join us as we rinse and get this tank nice and ready for the red tail bud so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go on ahead and take this packaging off right here so we got one packaging off and now we have one sticker you want to you want to help buddy okay you help take the sticker off you hold that side i hold this side all right now we have both of the packagings off now what i mean by rinsing it is i don't mean oh and zeus he, he thinks this is a chew toy buddy this is this is not yours you can't you can't have this so when rinsing products from the pet store you always want to make sure you just rinse with water and you're not putting any other chemicals added on to the chemicals that are already on these products right here so all we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and make sure we completely soak this right here. Zeus, buddy, you can't have the water. You want some? Okay, there you go. So we have completely rinsed the hide right here. Now, the last two things we need to do is we need to rinse the fake plant right here. Make sure we get this nice and good. All right, guys, I think that's, that's okay. And now we have this water. So we're gonna go ahead and rinse and rinse. And there we have it guys. We have completely rinsed all the chemicals off. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add the water to the water bowl already. So we're gonna go and keep on going, going. And there we have it guys. Now we're gonna take all three items and go finish this tank. All right guys, so we got the beautiful red tail bowl right here. Now guys, I don't know about you, but this is my favorite snake. I mean, just look at his pattern, look at his colors. He's almost like a chrome color if you get him in the right lighting he has like a chrome color going all the way down now it is time to introduce him to his new terrarium here we go in three two and there we go buddy here's your new terrarium here you go there you go you can see he's already taking a liking to the natural rock wall right here now he's gonna explore all of the new areas we decided to move the plant right here to give it more of a natural look guys if you look right here he is in striking he's in striking position guys so if if I get too close, he might strike. So we're just gonna go on ahead and we're gonna slowly close this up. All right, guys, you can see he's already getting used to this tank. He's already being territorial, but guys, that is going to conclude today's video of setting up this terrarium, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, give us to do a big thumbs up and comment down below if you guys liked how we set this up or if you guys would do it differently. Now, guys, if you wanna see more animal videos like this or other animal videos, well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel in the link down below.